Okay, so uh, in this example, I'm going to demonstrate using a double scripted array, and I'm going to do that to uh, create a list of, of names. So uh, s names are going to be character strings, and we learned that character strings are just simply uh, arrays of character that are null terminated. So I want to first define uh, two constant sizes that I'm going to use. One is going to be the max size of my name. So I'm going to use pound defines for this. Uh, max name size, and I'll say 20 characters. And remember, with pound defines, there's no semicolon. And then uh, the second one is going to be my list size. And let's start with just five things in my list. Okay, so uh, the first thing I need to do is define my, uh, my list, my name list. So it's going to be an array of characters, character array. I'll call it list, or maybe I'll call it name, name list. <clears throat> and it's going to be... Uh, a list of list size names. And each of those names is an array of characters of maximum max name size. Uh, plus one, because if, if the max name size is 20, if I enter a name that's actually uh, 20 characters long, I still need to have room for that null terminator. So uh, a 20, I need 21 uh, slots or elements to hold a 20 character name. So uh, let's just take a look at this. The, it's a character array, it's double scripted. And I can think of that as an array of arrays. Uh, an array of strings, and a list of names. Um, there's the first subscript is the size of my list, so that indexes the uh, the rows, if you will, and the second subscript indexes the actual strings. So let's try and use it. So I'll just do a little for loop to enter names. So I'll go from i equals zero to i is uh, less than list size and auto increment i. And then I will do prompt the user with a printf statement. And I'll tell them how big the, the maximum print, uh, maximum name can be. And then I'll read the name with a scanf. So for reading strings, it's percent %s is the format. And I just say name sub i. So remember, uh, instead of, <clears throat> uh, there's no ampersand when we're reading strings. And if the string was just name, oh, pardon me, it should be name list. If the string was just name, I would just say name. But because it's an array, I say name list underscore i. Um, and then that's it. I've read my array. So when I'm done, Let's do a little for loop, which will be almost the same. So I'll cut and paste. Um, but this time, no scanf and just print the elements of the array. So 
So print and because each each array element is a character string, I just do print. I use the percent s format. And I'll print the each on a new line and print name list subscript i. So that's going to go through my list from i to the list size and print each name that's been entered. So let's go ahead and build that. And run it and I'll enter some names. Dave, uh, Sam, Max, Elise, Norm, and it prints them back to me. Okay, so that's using a double scripted array. So it's really an array of strings, but because a string is an array, it's in that sense an array of arrays. So name list is an array of character strings, which in reality is an array of arrays. Um, I'm using two indexes. The first index indexes into my list, and the second index is the, uh, the character array itself. Okay, so that is it for uh, that example.